Straight to breaking news tonight, SpaceX scrubs tonight's launch of the Falcon 9 rocket. Glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. It happened just minutes ago. They are delaying the launch until tomorrow due to upper level winds. Let's get right out to News 6's Eric Sandoval. He is live in Cape Canaveral tonight with the latest, Eric. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, unhappy people here leaving Jetty Park tonight, Lisa. Actually, one of them just yelled, canceled out of his car window. A lot of people came here to watch the launch, which would have been right behind us at this very minute. When it launches tomorrow, though, at about 730, it could change the way, what it's carrying, that is, could change the way that you communicate on the Internet. Liftoff of this Falcon 9 rocket marks a milestone for SpaceX, the heaviest launch ever. I have never seen a rocket launch in my life, and I am completely excited. This picture from SpaceX shows what it looks like in the nose cone. 60 satellites that once deployed could begin the company's latest venture, space-based Internet service called Starlink. In a conference call tonight, Elon Musk told News 6, Starlink will eventually be comprised of about 1,000 satellites orbiting the Earth. They'll supply Internet service globally, even to rural areas. He hopes to have all the satellites up and working within five years. This is like one of the hottest engineering projects I've ever seen done. Musk told us tonight launching the satellites into space is one thing. It's possible that uh, some of these satellites may not work. Um, and in fact, it's possible that, small possibility that, that all of the satellites will not work. And that's the drama that was facing that launch, which was supposed to happen right behind me tonight. Again, that has been rescheduled for 7.30 tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. And uh, after that rocket launches, there's a whole bunch of choreography that's going to be happening up in space. So, uh, again, we'll be back here tomorrow night to see if this Falcon 9 rocket actually lifts off from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. For now, we are live in Cape Canaveral. Eric Sandoval getting results. New 6, back to you. Okay, Eric, and we did just get some new updated information. The launch now rescheduled for 10.30 tomorrow night, so about a 24-hour yep. delay there. Now, as we